Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we are going to create bulk users in our Active Directory with the help of the CSV file. So let's move to the server and see how we can do that. Now we are on our server and if we go and see in the Active Directory, we have this OU like HR, IT, Marketing and Management. So we are going to create some user inside this. So first of all, we have to configure the CSV file. To configure the CSV file, uh, first of all, uh, you can just create a XLS file like in a Excel. I did this like display name, username, email, UPN, street address, city, zip, country, department, password, uh, job title, company and OU. So this is a not CSV right now. It's in a Excel format. You can see the extension is .xlsx. It's in a Excel. You need to just format your Excel in this way like display name and all this should be there up to the OU. Then you can fill this file according to your usernames. Like what should be the display name for your user. You can type it here and same way you can fill it accordingly. So I did that. So I did that. You can see here we have these user in the department of HR and they have a OU inside the HR OU. And these user are inside the IT department. OU I have selected is IT. Same way I did for the marketing and management as well. So there are complete 40 users we are going to create. So what you can do here, you can just go to the file and save it as, I'll save it as bulk user, bulk users 2 you can say. You just type the file name instead of like save type as a XLS. Here you have to select it as a CSV format. So here we choose the bulk user 2csv and click on save. It will ask like some feature in your workbook might be lost if you save it as csv do you want to keep that format i'll say yes so these formats are there now so now the these bulk user 2.csv file will be there and let's see and try to open that file so this is how our bulk user 2.csv file looks like and we do not lose any of the format type all our fields are there so now we can uh, work with this file so i will just go and copy this file on my server so I copied it on my server and if you see this bulk users script, let me open this. So this is the script we are going to run like import active directory module first, then $AD user equal to import CSV from C temp bulk users dot CSV. This is the path and instead of bulk users 2, we have to rename our file as the bulk users and rest. This is the script. And make sure like at the user principal name you have to put here you have to put your domain name and in my case you can see it is cwp.inside so that's why i used it so let's paste this csv inside our c drive we have a temp folder let me paste it here and if you want to open it in a notepad you can see it will open in this way so don't get confused it is it's in a csv file so don't worry about this. So we have our CSV file here. Let me rename it as a bulk users.csv. So now we are good to go and we are ready to run this script now. Let me copy this script and let's open the PowerShell and let me paste it here. So I ran the script here. Let's see the active directory if our users has been created or not. See here. In HR, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 users. In our IT department, let me refresh it here. See, we have these users in our IT department. And same way in our marketing department, we have some users in our marketing department. And in the management, we have some users we have created in management. We have the users in the management as well. So earlier, these were empty. And if we go here and see the properties of any user, and if we see the department, you can see it is HR department, company TechyJack. Same way in the IT, if we go and see the properties of any user in the organization, it is an IT department and company is TechyJack. So this way we have created our users in a single script without wasting much time. I just created around about 40 users, but if you want, you can create more than 100 or 500 users in a one go. So don't you think it is very 
useful and it saves a time so we have successfully created our users by the help of this script same way you can do that in your scenario and create bulk users like 500 users even you can create thousands of users by this way i hope the video was useful let's meet in the next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever i post new content